The Mists are a new feature for solo and duo players within the Beyond the Veil update which launches in late November. The following 10 tips and tricks are aimed at giving you a head start when it comes to exploring, navigating and understanding these all new systems behind the mists. When attempting to enter the mists for the first time you should choose maps close to a safe zone. If you're aiming for lethal mists you want to start out of Kalion or any of the city blackstone portals. If you want to enjoy non-lethal mists you should start your adventure around the outer cities. When you finally get into your first mist zone, your first objective should be locating mob camps that help you increase your standing with Brazilian. If you pay attention to the minimap, you can spot potential mob camps simply by the layout. You should prioritize big mob camps first as they yield significantly more standing than the regular camps. If you arrive at a mob camp and notice that there aren't enough mobs for you to finish your quest, you don't need to be worried, as they will respawn quite frequently which will allow you to still finish your quests. A lot of players play Albion without sound on, but I can't stress how important this is. Activating the in-game sound will allow you to hear and locate things happening outside of your field of view. Not only can you hear other players engage in fights, you will also be able to locate captured will o -Wisps that are another great source of getting standing with Brazilian. Unlike in regular zones, plops of players will already show when three or more players are close to each other in the mist. You can utilize this info to either backstab other players or to keep out of their way. We don't know exactly how many total players can be in the same mist zone, but I've already been to one that had at least 10 players inside it. There are quite a lot of things to do in the mist outside of the usual PvP, PV and gathering. Occasionally you may find actual objectives shown on minimap. This may contain small treasure chests, crystal spiders aimed towards solo players, and a new weakened wisp that works similar to a power core and can be carried over to a portal in order to yield fame, might and favor. The ones I've redeemed on the tester seem to use an insane amount of it, so this might still be a subject to change. When the mist zone is about to close, will a wisp will spawn all over the map. This is your chance to upgrade to a better zone, be it a better rarity, a higher tier or both. The wisp will always show the rarity of the map, but not the tier. You can enter a spawn portal and check the tier of the map by pressing tab. After you've entered, you still have a few seconds to think about returning to your old map and trying to find another mist portal. To find a path into the new Mist City Brazilian, you will need to first increase your standing to Friendly, which requires a total of 50,000 points. You can do this by finishing mob quests and freeing captured wisps. To check your current standing, you can go to Stats and scroll down. Once you become Friendly, you will have a chance at finding an entrance to the city. The next step might require some luck though, as not every map will spawn a portal to the city. You will have to scout around the map. Personally, I stumbled upon an entrance randomly by searching for a mob camp. If you find a ring of mushrooms, you've made it. A portal will spawn that will lead you directly to the city. Unlike a black zone rest, traveling to Brazilian will always be possible once you've entered it for the first time without you having to sacrifice your home location. Simply go to the travel planner of a city and teleport over. Similar to Kalyan, you won't be able to carry any luggage with you. But there's even more. You can create a private island in Brazilian, utilize it without having to sacrifice your already existing islands. Also, there will be player run crafting stations in the city a bank, a market and all sorts of utility stations as usual. From within Brazilian you'll have access to an unlimited portal back into the mist. This is your way to jump right into the action. Tired of the mist or simply getting bullied away from overgear players? Luckily there's many ways to escape the mist. Usually there should be 4 axes in each zone that will allow you to return to where you first entered the mist from. If you were coming from Brazilian you can get right back into the city with your new earned loot. But be aware, you cannot leave while in combat with a mob or another player. I hope these tips will help you on your newfound adventure. If you want, you can test all new features yourself on the Albion test server. If you're interested and want to know more about the upcoming changes, feel free to let me know in the comments. Maybe I will make a video about the topic. Thanks for watching.